So I got two people asking me this question recently. The question is, let's say you had originally charged a certain amount. Maybe some business coach told you, you should charge higher prices. You'll get better clients and you make more money and they'll be more committed to you and blah, 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 uh, which over time um, you will, re you, many people realize, oh my gosh, that's not necessarily a good strategy because uh, at first you might get a few people who say yes. And over time it gets harder and harder for various reasons. Um, and you might feel like, gosh, I wish I could charge less to serve certain people and also because maybe you, you just feel, which just feel better charging a certain lower amount for, for something that you charge. So I had the same experience. I started out with, uh, you know, the biz gurus who were like charging a thousand dollars an hour. This is back in 2009. They were already charging a thousand dollars an hour <laughs> many years ago, which t this day would be like 1500 an hour or more. And so when I first started out in 2009, get this, my rate was $350 an hour, 2009. I think I got a total of two clients or <laughs> two sessions that I ever sold at $350 an hour, something like that. Don't tell anyone. Um, and then when I rebooted my business in 2014, I was charging $125 an hour and I filled my client roster. And so it's like, and it was great, great people too. Dedicated, really wonderful to work with. BS, BS about charging higher prices, get you better clients, more dedicated clients, et cetera. That's not, that's, I don't know, not in my experience. And I think the, the experience of some of you, it, it, it has a certain filtering effect, obviously higher income level, perhaps higher wealth level has certain characteristics of a person versus those who, but you may or may not, you may enjoy working with, with a certain social class, economic class versus another. Anyway, long story short, I dropped my price a lot. And how did I justify it? I justified it by calling it something different. I think it's the main point. Like, like for example, let's say I had a, a join my three month authentic business coaching program, you know, um, and let's say I met with them for two hours a month. And so if I charge 350 an hour, that's 700 a month for two hours a month with them. Authentic business three months. And suddenly a year later, that same authentic business three months coaching program is now 300 a month. <laughs> you know, then the person who just paid it a year ago were like, what is going on? <laughs> what, what happened? So that is, that is understandable. And, um, but even if you had to do that, I wanted to say this, even if you had to do that, you didn't call it anything different. You charge the same. You only, honestly, uh, you feel better charging a more affordable rate at this point for whatever reason. You only have a few, first of all, those people who paid you more in the past, they probably either won't even notice or they will be like, oh, cool. I get you at an even better deal now. Okay. Okay. Now, if you feel like you have to answer to them for some reason, you can just describe that. Um, yeah, you know, th thankfully my business model has changed. I'm able to I'm able to do more one-on-one -on -one sessions now. So I decided to make my pricing more affordable. So um, you know, if, if you want to continue working together, you get get the new lower rate. I think it's really fine to say that. You know, again, you only have a few people to answer to. The vast majority won't even know what your previous prices were and so they'll just be grateful for your new accessible pricing great um, and then over time of course you can keep raising it but again if you you can also change the naming and the format so for example let's say I had authentic business three month package twice a month seven hundred dollars and now i want to so that was 350 an hour now i want to charge 150 an hour i might make it just say authentic I might just make it say like transformational business consulting. I don't know. I mean, I, it's a different name. And instead of three month, maybe I'll call it a two month program or a, a sorry, maybe a, a, it used to be a three month program. So maybe now it's a four month program or a six month program, you know, more longer term commitment. And essentially they're getting me at 150 an hour. So, um, you know, or you could maybe launch a 
group program, right? A group program where, you know, your clients get together in a group, um, you know, maybe do you do some group calls like one or two or three or four group calls a month, but your clients also get some one-on-one -on -one time with you. And basically you price all of that in terms of your time. Let's say I it was me and that was that situation. I would then price, essentially, I'm still earning 150 an hour. So for example, let's say each client gets to meet with me twice a month, one hour each. So that's $300, okay? Now they also get a group situation where I do two one hour calls a month, group calls a month. And so essentially, I'm adding together those two one hour group calls a month. Okay, maybe there's prep time. Let's add in another uh, two hours of prep time and an hour of follow up time. So, a total of five hours for the group a month. So, now I would add up 150 times five, $750. You know, I would, I would say, okay, if I had five clients who joined the program, I'm sorry for the advanced math now, <laughs> but basically, let's say I had five clients join the program. Each client would pay me essentially $300 for meeting with me two hours a month, right? 150, 150, two hours a month, each client. So each client's paying me $300 at the base level, but now they're also getting access to the group program that I have for five people, which takes me five hours a month of prepping the group or providing the sessions, doing some follow-up, let's say five hours. I, I need to earn 750 for the group. So if I divide 750 divided by five clients, that's 150, you see what I mean? So then each client of this five person, essentially mastermind group would pay me $450 a month, you see, 450 a month. Now I'm serving each client, you know, individually for two hours a month, plus they get two group calls a month. And nice, you know, nice business model, right? Um, because essentially you could say that they're, they're, they're getting met once a week because they're either in a, you know, let's say four weeks in a month, they're either meeting with me one-to-one, -one, right? Week one and three, and then weeks two and four, there might be group calls or something like that. I just came up with a nice model for you all. So, but the idea again is uh, you have so much latitude and creativity to shape your use of time for your clients, however you wish to. I just gave you two examples, right? The one-on-one -on -one versus the group program. And you can name it differently. You could have the different length of duration. And even if you didn't, the point is you only have a few people to answer to. They probably will be glad anyway. And everyone else will be glad <laughs> for your accessible pricing. So anyway, I hope this helps. And uh, if you want to add any other examples you've seen of people changing their pricing from higher to lower or any other questions uh, you know, that I can answer quickly, you can comment below. Yeah, and um, I want to thank those who are live here with me. I'm doing this in a live session, group group call. And um, someone mentioned that, um, you know, you could be transparent about the change. I mean, just like I probably would be when I, when, uh, whenever I make a change, I am. It's like, you know, I, I used to do this. I, I was following the advice of high, high price coaches. And now I, I learned, I realized that I actually really enjoy working with people who are able to afford um, something different, you know, uh, and not able to afford the, the original higher prices. So that's why I'm grateful and uh, to be able to, to bring the price down to a more accessible pricing. It's a really something to celebrate. I mean, the funny thing is you, you, framing is everything, right? Like you can, when you raise your rates, you can celebrate that as a, as a friend. And then when you lower your rates, you can celebrate that to say, I am now, you know, bringing a more accessible pricing so I can serve people of different backgrounds, socioeconomic backgrounds. I mean, it's great. <laughs> it's, 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 it's definitely worth celebrating. So um, yeah, so that's a really great framing. So thanks for bringing that through. Um,